I wanted to give some initial thoughts on the Motaz Rousey front tire. Before I take it out for a ride, I wanted to give some initial thoughts on the Motaz Rousey front tire. So recently, I noticed that my tires were getting to the point where they were close to needing a change. And I started looking around on the interwebs and what I was looking for was a little bit scarce. So I found the normal Motaz that I use on the rear. Um, it's a Tractionator Adventure. Um, pretty readily, but they're expensive. And my normal front tire, and I don't want to get into that subject, um, was not available. So moving on, I figured I had the Motaz rear, so I give them a shot at the Motaz front. So looking at reviews and my own experience, uh, I like to run a more aggressive front tire than the Motaz Tractionator Adventure front tire. Um, I ride a lot of different types of terrains, a lot of dirt, uh, of different descriptions. So hard pack, gravel, sand, um, you know, some rock and stuff like that. So um, I wanted a good off-road tire uh, in the front. So something more aggressive than the rear. And that's how I ended up with the Rousey front tire. So on upon initial inspection, the lugs have about 14 millimeters of height off of the base. That's not off of any wear indicator like down here. I think that's probably like a half a millimeter or so on the wear, wear indicators. My tires never go down that far. What I liked about this particular tire, especially for loose conditions, um, whether it be gravel or sand, um, you have offset blocks. Many adventure tires have um, blocks that line up. Um, I believe that's probably, and I don't want to get into that discussion, but I believe that's for smoothness on the road. And many adventure tires, uh, pure adventure tires, have an almost uh, linear design down the front of this to keep you um, from having uh, discomfort on the road, let's say. These are not only offset here, the centers are offset. So this should give good stability on the road. This particular tire is a 909021. Um, this uh, KTM 1090 comes with uh, tubeless uh, spoked rim. So there's a little strap that goes around here that makes it tubeless. Just so you can see, this is what goes around the inside, this is actually a rear one that's spent. Um, there is a little um, flange inside of it that this clips into. And I think there's a special tool that they do. I've never done one myself, but these are supposed to be uh, changed out. Occasionally, like according to the owner's manual, they are a consumable item. Uh, these are, this one here is a rear and is about 50 bucks for one of these. But you can see where the um, rubber goes over the spokes and um, gives you a tubeless rim. The previous tire I had had softer sidewalls. I never had any issues with pinch flats. This one definitely has a much stiffer, thicker uh, carcass to it. Um, I'm going to be very interested to see how it performs not only off-road but on the pavement. The last one I had with the thinner sidewalls, if you were pushing it into a corner, you would almost feel those sidewalls flex. And that was a little bit unnerving. Uh, once you get used to it, it's okay, but it'll be un interesting to see how that tire flex will work out.